so a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world the national anthem of Argentina rings out thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it Jim Beglin with one common note to have their names on this famous trophy. Yes, Peter, I've been a, a winning finalist and I've been a, a losing finalist and I don't need to tell anyone what I prefer. Winning will help fans remember you for a long, long time. So I sincerely wish both teams well and hope that all the players can give a good account of themselves and, and you've heard it before, may the best team do it. We're on the way. As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away. So I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. De Paul Paredes. De Paul. And it's Messi. it into the area and that's out of reach Florenzi across the field it goes Insigne pushes to get on the end of it Marco Verratti has come loose Lorenzo Insigne Bellotti plays it backwards, and they'll try again. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Insigne, Emerson. Now the cross. <laughs> Whistle's gone, that's a foul. It's played forward. Gomez. And here's Martinez. And it's Pelotti. Back to the keeper and try something new. Gomez. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals and uh, excitement. Forget it. Florenzi, Florenzi goes looking. Italy have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Martinez Messi 
Messi weighed up the options and picked the wrong one. Berdeski, great strength, too strong for his opponent. He's gone out for a throw in. Berdeski, Romero picks it back. Martinez plays it out to the wing. Done very well to intervene. Lorenzo Insigne. And here's Ferrati. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Tries to cross. Talia Fico. Dybala. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. And it's Locatelli. Petzella battles to win it back. Martinez. Lorenzo Insigne. And it's Verratti. Verratti switches it towards the other side. Barella. Whip. He's good for it. And in again. Oh, that is rather wayward. His radar picked up on that very quickly, and he was first to react. <laughs> Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Over to the left. Tip behind for a corner kick. <laughs> Played it short. Locatelli. It's a decent looking cross. <laughs> Gomez. Messi. Luca Telli did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. There will be one minute at a time. Messi. This is gone. It's the halfway point of the final. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. Still goals. Goals. The halfway point of the final. What are you thinking? Look, this is classic final tension and, and nerves. Um, it's still got time to go from tentative to thrilling, I hope. No balls at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half time. We're up and running. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. Serbi. Florenti tries to get it forward quickly. Petzella. Messi. It's a promising run he's making on the right. And here's Martinez. Talifico. Gomez. De Paul. Gomez. And the shot! He scored! Well, that's what the top players do. The ability to seize the initiative at crucial times in the game. 
and now this second half has a completely different outlook. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Substitution for Italy. Number Argentina nine. have made their breakthrough, and so can they build on it? Well, certainly the big occasion and a field, very big is. opening goal to boost everyone's confidence Number here. 17. Giro Immobile. Well, that's where he wants it. There's a counter-attack chance here for Argentina. And here's Dybala. Paul. That's surely a foul free kick. Argentina with a decent chance here, and there's little doubt about who'll take it. the better team at the moment Peter and, and no doubt we'll be looking to to cause even more damage here Dybala Petzela Argentina have hit a quick fire double here and are well and truly in the driving seat Gomez and here's Dybala Paredes, Gomez, Paredes, and here's Messi, finds him, oh he's caught him there, it's a free kick. And that's exactly the type of adventure we want to see in a final two, Peter, and it's a pity it didn't cause the net to bulge. Lorenti drives it forward, hit long and direct. It's a brilliant interception. Talia Fico plays it over to the other flank, hoists it forward. De Paul, Romero, forward it goes, Gomez, and here's Martinez, now it's Messi. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. the bill when it comes to the man for the occasion.
And it's Messi. Paredes. And here's Martinez. A great ball. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Keeper sends it forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Emerson plays it forward. Berati tries to get it. Great leap! Call of his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. Yeah, this is part of the job. Head down and keep plugging away. The call. And here's Martinez. And here's Martinez. Messi, his scoring skills have already been evident. It's on a plate. This could spell danger. Martinez really got caught in a trap. Oh, real danger here. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Messi. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Oh, that's not going to go down too well with his teammates. He could be in here. Dibala. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pastor to take him out. Having a stroll. Questions were asked. He's given the answers. Hoist it forward. And time is up. Argentina are the winners. The ceremony is fitting. Their triumph has been beautiful indeed. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory, another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.